I'm David Meads, I'm the Vice President for Cisco's operation across Africa. So we're here today speaking at the Internet of Things World Forum uh, based in Dubai and uh, I guess we should start by talking about what is the Internet of Things or as Cisco is coining the phrase the Internet of Everything. So the Internet of Everything is when you connect people, processes, data and things to create brand new insights from a, from a private sector or a public sector perspective where you can actually do things which you previously imagined were, were just not, not possible to do. And if you consider at the moment that, that uh, there's something like 1% of the total number of devices that can ultimately be connected to the internet, only 1% of those are connected today, the possibilities are literally endless in terms of what this could do for businesses and for governments and for cities and, and any walk of life that we happen to be in. So when we talk about how the Internet of Things can actually apply to Africa and what benefit can it bring to Africa, uh, it's my opinion and, and I've spent the last six years of my life living and working across Africa that the single biggest thing that can actually help Africa transform will be technology as a platform. If you look at what Africa is in terms of its richness, it's rich in natural resources, so whether that be things that grow uh, in the ground or lie underground. So industries such as oil and mining, the potential for the Internet of Things to bring different insights, new insights to those, technology, to those industries by connecting all aspects of their business is, is something we, we could only have imagined before. So industry, for sure, um, particularly the natural resources space, but also you know, we've seen a huge trend of urbanization over the last 10 years or so, uh, particularly across Africa. And applying what technology can do um, and the Internet of Things can do to a city, you can start to address all sorts of challenges that governments have around cities. So by introducing concepts like smart energy, smart lighting, uh, smart safety and security, smart traffic management, all aspects of what makes a city thrive and tick. And also, you know, things that can start to bring new job opportunities and fuel GDP and economic growth. So I believe personally that, you know, we've been talking a lot over a number of years now, that Africa's time is now. Actually, I think it is now, but I think it has to be founded on the role that technology can play to unlock this enormous potential. So at the core of IoT, of course, is the network. So whether you are a company or whether you are a government leader or uh, you know, leading a city uh, or a community, the essential foundation for IoT to be unlocked is about having the infrastructure in place, the network in place. So in technology terms, we would talk about fiber optic backbone infrastructure. We would talk about ubiquitous Wi-Fi across a city or a, a community environment. So, um, you know, one of the reasons why we believe Cisco is, is the key organization at the center of this huge market transition is because it is all about the network and of course the network is what we do and who we are. You know, as I travel across Africa, I speak to many different government leaders across, across different countries in Africa and most of those government leaders are very clear that they have a vision around what they need to do and the role that technology can play. Uh, and if we talk about this in the terms of how they would digitize their, their, their country, most government leaders do have that vision. The challenge is that not many of them have a clear plan as to how they will execute on that vision. And that can come from any number of issues, not least of all the many conflicting priorities that these government leaders have, whether it be to do with education, healthcare, jobs, safety, security, etc. What we're seeing is actually some of the smaller countries um, are, are those who are able to move quicker, whether it's because they have less legacy or whether it's because they, they you know, need to be less democratic about it, but, but actually more about delivering results to, to, to the citizens. So we're starting to see some of the smaller countries in sub-Saharan Africa. Um, one of those is Rwanda. It's been much fated um, over the last number of years as to how it's grasped technology to help to fuel, continue the prosperity um, that the country's seen in the last 20 years or more. So we're seeing smaller countries moving quickly, building smart cities, smart governments, smart communities, smart airports, smart stadiums and so forth. So um, I'm convinced that the, the, that will start to, to, to build in some of the larger countries. You know, we know that some of the um, uh, provincial leaders and city leaders in South Africa, for example, have clear plans as to how they can provide a ubiquitous Wi-Fi solution across the city, which in itself can become a foundation to provide many different smart services. 
So our vision at Cisco for what IoT and digitization can mean for Africa is firstly it's about connecting the unconnected. There are over a billion people in Africa, the vast majority of whom aren't connected. That means that they're not, they're not able to contribute to the country and to the prosperity of the country. So I think first and foremost it is about connecting everybody to the internet so that they can contribute. The second thing is once you've done that is to focus on priority services. To, to, to use technology as the leveller so that people, children for example, can, can gain access to the same level and the same quality of education whether they're living in a rural environment or whether they're living in a, in a large city. Same for healthcare, let's use technology as the way in which we can ensure that every citizen has access to quality healthcare. So it really can be the, the thing that, that fuels the prosperity and, and the GDP growth of a country but, but more importantly to my mind is it, it's the one thing that can make an environment and a community inclusive by bringing all of the citizens into that environment. My name is David Meads, I'm the Vice President for Cisco in Africa.